Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of The Avengers. We have so much to talk about in this one. I, I, this is going to be like a 45 minute video. At <laughs> but, least. But we're going to try to make it, you know, we're going to try to trim it down. But tune into our podcast because we will go so much more in depth in our podcast when you're stuck in your car and you can give us 45 minutes. First up is the lead male, lead female likability. Right away we have a problem here. When you take the Avengers franchise and the Avengers team journey as a whole. It's Iron Man and it's Captain America. I gave both Iron Man and Captain America a three. They're both badasses in this movie. If we were handing out trophies for films, there is no question that best entrance would go to Tony Stark. For Steve Rogers, I gave him a four, which is I would want this guy in my inner circle of friends. It's it's odd that you said you, you give him a four because you talked about how you didn't want him, how you didn't like the fact that he didn't sign Coulson's cards. It would have taken him two seconds to sign those cards for Coulson. So you want your friends to, you know, not sign autographs. That's no, what you want no, your friends to do. No, no, that's the problem is I think I might have carried over my feelings from him in Captain America the movie. Goody Good Boy from Captain America would have no hesitation doing that for somebody who it obviously meant so much to. I think I know why you rated him a four in this one. She said that he'd make a great friends with benefits and you can't have a friend with benefits if they're not your friends, so that's why she gave him a four. Totally not, but he totally. would make a good friends with benefits. I'm not changing my score, so I give him a four. Lead male, lead male, bang ability. I think I have a much easier time with this category than my fiance probably did. They both got a zero and we have a lot to discuss, so we'll just move on from that. Lame. <laughs> I gave them both a score of four. If you've got the personality and you've got the body. And then you have this guy. <laughs> then you do have this guy. Yes. Lead male and lead male relatability. I gave them both a zero for this. I related more to these characters. I bumped up Steve Rogers. I gave him a one. I want a team of superheroes who are embarrassingly superior to me. And I felt that was the team I got. They're not superior to you. You can match. You can go toe to toe with them. Sure, I can definitely be a playboy billionaire genius like Tony Stark. Yeah, philanthropist as well. He's a philanthropist. Right, and philanthropist. For Iron Man, this is the highest score. I gave Iron Man a three. I said it's the best parts of me, at least I think it is. When everyone is at their best and they have that confidence, they have that swagger that Tony Stark has in this one, and so that's why I gave him a three. So next up is our villain, who first appears to us as a strung out, coke addicted Loki. At least that's what he looks like. He still wants to rule the world, but this time it's Earth. So who does this affect? It affects Earth, so he got a three. It affects the world's health and happiness. He comes in saying that he's going to gift us with this release from freedom. No thanks. We'll keep our freedom. Loki can piss right off. So how strong is the villain compared to the hero? I said Loki was a two, that he was equal to the heroes. I gave this a score of three. I thought that the villain team was stronger than the hero team, which is what makes the hero's victory so compelling. Loki's got his alien army and he's got the scepter and the staff and it's an infinity stone. And so that is what really boosts him up and makes him so powerful. Do you care about the villain? I hate him. I wanted to slap him. The jerk kills Coulson. And I really wanted to like take that staff and shove it right back through his heart. He's less likable. So he drops down to a three. Villain bang ability. Sorry, Loki, you get a zero. You wanted to bang Loki before. How do you like him now? Zero. Nothing else. All right, note to self, do not kill Coulson, otherwise I'm not getting any. Yeah, for real. Side characters. This is a pretty compelling category. So all the Avengers that didn't make our lead category, they're now in side characters. So we have Hawkeye. Bruce Banner, aka the Hulk. Black Widow. Thor. Coulson, of course. Coulson and Fury. I gave Nick Fury a score of one. I gave him a one. I said the plot has some holes without him. Hawkeye, I gave him a one as well. His turning by Loki Scepter is kind of what kicks off a lot of this movie. Yeah, that's, that's just the plot. Right. I know, but I think that he deserves a little bit more than Nick Fury in terms of points for this moment because I think he did contribute a bit more to the movie overall. He gets 1.1, Fury gets 1, so there, he's a little bit higher. He gets a 2 for me, thank you very much. For Hulk and Thor, I gave them uh, both a 2. I like them as part of the Avengers, and you can't have the Avengers if you don't have Thor and you don't have the Hulk. Like I said, you can take out Hawkeye, I'd still like the Avengers, and I'd still think it'd be a good movie. If you take out Thor, if you take out Hulk, nah, it's, it's, it's not going to be as good. For Black Widow, Bruce Banner, and Thor, I gave them all credit for humor. They all each got a score of three. Black Widow, I gave a three. I said there's not as much humor without Black Widow in this one. I don't think there was a single scene of hers where she didn't incorporate some humor, whether it was a dry, sarcastic look. She was also the best Avenger outside of Iron Man and Captain Rogers for me, the most important one. So that's why I, I wanted to give her a higher score than Hulk or Thor. That being said, she deserves better guns. Just going to put that out there. Yeah, that was kind of sad. The dinky little pistols. <laughs> like, 
kind of insulting. Finally, we get to Coulson. Coulson brought so much to this film. I couldn't just say humor because he was so much more than that. He makes you laugh and then he makes you cry. So sometimes I take liberty with the scoring sheet and I just, you know, just do my own thing. And I gave Coulson a five. Five is the most central side character. It's kind of the MVP of the side characters. So next up is plot. I gave this plot a score of four. Four. It's the highest score. I said that I wouldn't get up to go to the bathroom or look down at my popcorn. I was just glued to the screen. Female empowerment. What role do women play in this film? This has got a two. We do have a lopsided cast. It is definitely heavier on the male side than it is on the female side. Mm -hmm. But our females bring power. The women there are, are there to kick butt. But there was no ultimate move by a woman that uh, saved everything. I think. Seriously? Oh, you're looking at me because, oh, no, Black Widow did the last, the little thing at the end. It is, in fact, Black Widow who closes the portal. <laughs> Although, it wasn't her idea, just like it wasn't Pepper Potts' idea to push the button. She needed a man to tell her what to do in order to get the staff and close the portal. So, even then, not, not as strong as it could be. So next up is Soundtrack, and I gave Soundtrack a score of three. Soundtrack, I gave a two. This is the introduction of the Avengers theme. When I hear the Avengers theme song, it gives me chills. Humor. I didn't remember this movie being very funny, and it's fantastic. 53. 53. That's higher than most other movies' entire score. Even Coulson, when he is dying, still makes us laugh right before we, we cry. If you can make your audience do that, if you can hold them in the palm of your hand like that, and tilt them a little bit towards humor, and then a little bit towards the tissue box, that's masterful craftsmanship. It got a score of 53 for me with humor. We gave the same humor score. I mean, that's never happened before. We've never no. given the same score. This is the first time we've ever, I guess we laughed at, maybe not at all the same moments, but... The same amount. The same amount. No. Yeah. So cute. <laughs> visual effects. I gave visual effects a score of three. This is definitely big screen worthy. It's definitely big screen worthy. Our next category is dialogue. I uh, gave... Uh, uh, oh. Our next category is love story. In the past, a love story has always been a romantic story. Now there's all kinds of love. There's romantic love. There's love between a parent and a child, between siblings. There's also love between friends. A bromance. You see the foundation for how Tony Stark and Steve Rogers can actually be good for each other. And yet how that challenging of each other can also be what perhaps might drive them apart. For me, this one got a one. I gave it a score of one, which is, it puts a little bow on everything. Dialogue. We do have some difference of opinion here. We do. I said, I gave it a two. I said there's some quality uh, one-liners in there. There are some, I had some issues with a little, a little of the dialogue that was, that was given. Yeah, we might be able, not be able to save the earth, but we'll damn well avenge it. Oh, oh, that's what the Avengers mean. Yeah, they avenge things. Oh, great. Good job. You liked that, didn't I did. you? Oh my God. I gave it a four. I said I'll be quoting this movie for years to come. Action sequences. We counted six of them for this movie. They were peppered throughout and they weren't super long. They ended soon enough for me to keep wanting more. For the action sequences, I gave it a four. I gave it a score of four. I was sad when they ended. So that makes it a 24 for action sequences. Last but not least, heart. This movie had a lot of heart in it. This goes to Coulson. When Coulson died, it really moved me. The fact that all of the characters face that blow and the fact that this shield agent who he might have even met some of these guys for the first time i mean like he just met captain america but he has such a profound impact on all of them and he really is the heart i thought you were gonna cry when you're doing your video like we're you know, telling it colson you know every single time i watch that movie i cry so i gave heart a three i got a little misty eyed but it could just be allergies it was a score of four for me, which is the highest a heart can be. Avengers ends up with a score of 127 for me. 134 for me. But we developed the bonus category of fist pumps because there were moments in this film that weren't funny, but that elicited a response from us, I felt, on the same emotional mm -hmm. level they, as laughing out yeah, loud. They make you go, hell yeah. When Iron Man comes in, you, yeah, Iron Man. It got three fist pumps out of me. That brings its total score now to 130. Four fist bumps. That brought my score up to a 138. This was Marvel at its best. The humor was, was spot on. The characters were all fun. The plot was great. A good villain. Download our ranking sheet if you haven't already and let us know what your score is for the Avengers. You can either comment on us or you can do a video post. It'll, it'll be exciting to see how these future movies rank next to this one because nothing's catching this one right now.